The thermostatic expansion valve consists of an expansion port calibrated to the desired refrigeration capacity. The external pressure port is connected to the side and the thermostatic valve train with its bulb is attached to the valve head. Inside the valve is a spring-loaded needle valve, which is maintained on the superheat control mechanism driven by the regulating spindle. Developed for ammonia, it can be supplied with high pressure. At the outlet of the expansion valve, the fluid is expanded again in a distributor equipped with four tubes. The refrigerant at low pressure is gradually evaporated in the heat exchanger. The evaporator outlet port is connected to the external equalizer of the expansion valve to read the evaporating pressure and the bulb measures the temperature of the refrigerant. The forces acting on the diaphragm of the valve are opposite. The bulb pressure at the top opens the valve whilst the evaporating pressure on the spring pressure below the diaphragm closes it. If the bulb of the thermostatic train is immersed in ice cold water at 2 degrees Celsius, the valve is open as long as the evaporation pressure is below 3.5 bar, which corresponds to a super rate of 1 degree at the evaporator outlet. By increasing the spring pressure with a super heat control mechanism, the pressure on the diaphragm is increased to close the valve. When the low pressure is at 2.6 bar, corresponding to the evaporation temperature of minus 4 degrees Celsius, the valve opens, which corresponds to a super heat of 6 degrees. For a stable evaporation pressure, the temperature variation of the bulb of the expansion valve leads to a modification of the super heat and therefore a reaction on the supply of the evaporator by the expansion valve. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon for a new adventure.